and, and I, I wasn't sure what to do. A lot of people wanted a piece of this or a piece of that. And when you go in, you'll understand. They weren't meant to be torn down and taken somewhere else. They're not modular pieces. Uh, Royal and, and, uh, and Greg Green and, and Dan and all the people that worked on building them, Sam, uh, they, they were built to be here. And so out of the blue, God sends me Ray Tessie. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> And, and we hit it off, and Ray says, you know what, let's keep them right where they are. And, uh, and he has been a, a, a real blessing to us and to you, because it is his generosity mm -hmm. that is allowing this to happen. Thank you. So uh, we're so excited you're here. Uh, I, I wish we had, oh, I'm going to tell you something funny about air conditioning, because yeah. I know you're dreaming of that right now. <laughs> when we realized that we, need to fin we needed to finish Star Trek Continues, we tried to figure out how we could shoot four episodes in one year, which was unheard of. The only way we were going to do it was going to be able to, sh to shoot in July oh. here. Oh. Yeah. I mean, people would pass out. There was no way you could do it. And it was the episode with Old Kirk, with all of the makeup. Oh. <laughs> so we decided the only way we could do it, we rented an air conditioning unit the size of a school bus and parked it at the end of the building. And when you walked through the studio, look above you and you'll see these white tubes hanging from the ceiling and they were to have air conditioning pumping through the studio and that's how we were able to shoot episode 8 in July in Kingsland, Georgia. <laughs>